to login and then you have to go to the site menu the site menu so this is where you edit the name of your website uh, here the website name is already edited as Kerala hospital demo dot dot cn now if you want a um, domain like www.keralahospital.com you can uh, create a domain like that and uh, check the availability and you can update it is available so you can update and you, you have to buy the domain to connect the domain otherwise this Kerala hospital demo.odo.in domain will be available so now this website is already created uh, the contents are already edited now I will show you how the contents of this website is edited here this is the content editor for the website uh, this is the home page here there are several tabs uh, where uh, the website is can be built over in the home page you have the heading uh, heading is Kerala hospital this heading you can see here uh, the caption here that is sample website now this is the content area for the home page here you can make any editing in the content area you can add images or uh, um, add any lines like this content area will be displayed here um, you can add something like if you want to add something add here this is the sidebar area a sidebar area you, you can see the sidebar area displayed here in the sidebar if you don't want the sidebar to be displayed you can uncheck this display Now let us see what happens when you click on save. Now let just refresh this. Yeah, see the new contents that we added here, it just appeared there. The sidebar is still displayed so now let us move on the theme you can select right now only the classic theme is available if you want to upload a logo you can just browse and upload uh, the logo here logo for your hospital so here the widgets you can enable or disable any widgets depending upon your requirements if you want the sign up patient sign up uh, here like this the patient sign up is visible if you don't want that patient sign up you can just disable that here the EMR you can enable and disable online appointment today's appointments you can enable and disable connected parties and a Google map also can be enabled and disabled now this is a slideshow you may enter a caption here and just let's see what happens
so the caption appears with these images you can the other images does not have a caption so you have to enter the caption if you want something to be displayed there Now, this is the SEO window. Uh, the SEO, you can enter the contents to be updated in search engines. Uh, you have to enter a title, then the meta description of your website can be entered here. And then the keywords uh, upon which the search results has to appear. You have to type in the relevant keywords there. If you have any Google Analytics or anything to be installed, I can add that code here. Now the content contact details can be updated. And click on save. And so all the details now will be updated here on this page. Now if you want to add more pages, you can add any number of pages, like you have to click add, uh, you have to name the page name, departments, just any name, like whatever you Now this is the parent, if you want this to be appearing under any one of the existing menu, you can choose that as a parent menu and you can enter the SEO details here for that particular page. So now the departments menu will be appearing here. Here I'll just have a look. Yeah, departments. So when you click on departments, the department page opens. Now, if you want to add a separate page for each department, you can do so. How can you do that? Yeah. You can add a new page like general medicine. Now you have to select parent as departments so that it comes under the general medicine comes under the departments tab and click on save. Now you have the general medicine department there and uh, the contents of that page can be updated here. So likewise you can add other departments also. Mm, let's see. Choose the parent as departments and click save. Yeah, you have to add the SEO and things for each page so that the search engine indexes your search your pages. So now you can add any number of pages likewise.
so this is how you add pages and uh, how you set the contents of your website you can uh, this is all about your web portal creation so now you can edit any pages basically any pages can be edited now the maps map is not coming here why it is because we, we have to set it in the profile You just have to find out the precise location here and then locate the location in the map and then click on save that's it Now the map will be displayed. Now we have set the map also. So the map will be displayed in the home page now. You can enable and disable it uh, depending on your choice, anything. So that's it. Okay.